Whether you're coming to Canada as a permanent resident or as a student, you want to get a job as early as possible. If you're coming as a permanent resident, then obviously you want your core job but sometimes it's not very easy to get the job in the early days of your landing. It might take a couple of months for you to get a job. Similarly, if you are a student, you also want that you get a part-time job along with your studies so that you can pay your bills and maybe pay your tuition fees as well. So hello guys, I'm Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and in this video, we'll be talking about the top five survival jobs that you can get in Canada. You can say these are survival jobs or for students, these are part-time jobs. So which are those jobs? We'll be talking about those. Although there can be many types of jobs that can be termed as survival jobs. But in this video, we'll talk only about those five different kind of jobs that offer you good salary. Don't need any kind of a degree, diploma or certification to do those jobs. And at the same time, you also have a good number of vacancies uh, all around Canada. At the same time, we'll also talk about the pros and cons of these jobs, how difficult or how easy would these jobs be, and we'll also talk about the salaries as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. All right guys, before I start discussing about those jobs in particular, let me tell you that why these jobs are called survival jobs. Basically, when you come here, you land in Canada from your home country, maybe as a permanent resident, then we expect that you'll get uh, your core job pretty early. But sometimes there are delays, there's some struggle in the initial days. And in the meanwhile, while you're here, you have to pay the rent, you have to uh, do the groceries, you know, all the regular stuff, you have to pay your bills, all that regular stuff will still happen while there's no income. So the salary that you'll get from these odd jobs will not be the regular salary that you actually expect from your regular job, uh, but that will definitely help you pay your bills, pay your rent, etc. You can end up saving. You at least go out and, you know, you can also make some good connections. And guys, please, for God's sake, do not think that any of these jobs are small jobs. Sometimes we have that mentality that, oh, I won't do this job or that job, but no job in Canada is considered as small jobs. Everyone is given equal respect. Okay, without any further ado, let's just start talking about those jobs in particular. So number one is the delivery jobs. So delivery jobs may be for query services, maybe for Amazon, but more prominently, I'm talking about the food delivery jobs. They offer you really good salary, I'll come to that, but uh, jobs like uh, DoorDash, Skip the dishes, those are very famous here in Canada. At the same time, you can also join Domino's, Pizza Pizza and other pizza outlets and many such jobs. The benefit with these jobs is that they offer you really good salaries. So you can get from uh, $18 per hour up to $25 per hour and I'm talking about Ontario. The salaries might differ from one region to the other. Now, because we're talking about the food delivery jobs and obviously we need to deliver the food pretty early in 30, 40, 45 minutes. So um, you should be able to ride a bicycle or maybe a scooter or maybe a car. Sometimes they can offer you the vehicle. Sometimes you need to have your own vehicle. Depends from one company to the other. But if you're driving a car or a bike, you need to have a license. So those are some of the restrictions. And the Canada's weather for six, seven months is super cold. So if you have a car, if you're able to drive a car, it is very easy with the bicycle it would be very difficult now apart from good salaries these jobs also offer some other advantages like you can choose your own area where you want to deliver maybe you can choose your own timing when you want to work and when you don't want to work so all these are good advantages that definitely places this job at number one spot all right guys before i discuss the other jobs let me take a moment to thank surfshark for sponsoring this video surfshark is not just a vpn it helps you protect from email leaks, password leaks, hacked websites, identity theft, data breach, and whatnot. One of the biggest advantages that I personally felt was that without Surfshark, I was not able to access a lot of Hollywood content on platforms like Disney, Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, etc. while I was in India. And the same was the case during the lockdown when I tried to access a lot of Bollywood movies and web series from Canada. But with Surfshark, problem solved. You can access content from around the world. So Surfshark is more than just a VPN. 
and now you can get 84% discount and 4 months absolutely free if you use the code DREAMABROAD. Okay, the next shop that I'm going to talk about is the job of a security guard. Now, almost all the offices, the malls, sometimes the markets and the supermarkets also require security guards. Now, to get these jobs, you need to get in contact with the companies that offer security services to all these malls, offices, markets and supermarkets. Uh, the good point about these jobs are that these jobs offer a little higher salary than the minimum wage level. So let's say if you talk about Ontario, uh, the minimum wage now in Ontario is $14.25 per hour. But these jobs offer something from $16 to $20 or maybe sometimes even more higher. You also get good salary because you can get good number of hours here because a security guard would be required at night time when the mall or the office is closed. The other good part about these jobs is that you don't have to be super busy just like any other cashier job because you don't have to attend the customers directly but yes you have to be very attentive keep an eye on all of those people who are uh, who might come in with the wrong intent so yes considering all of these factors it is really good if you can get a security guard job as a survival job or a part-time job while you're studying all right talking about the next kind of jobs are those jobs at the gas stations these jobs generally offer salary a little above the minimum wage which is 14.25 here in Ontario as I told you earlier so you can get a salary of around 15 to 17 dollars in Ontario and that is per hour if you're coming from India you would think that the petrol pump attendants would actually serve the petrol or diesel uh, into their cars of the customers but actually here it's a bit different as you might know uh, we have to put in the petrol or diesel by our own selves, the person at the job has to be there at the cash counter. The job responsibilities would include taking care of the payments, any issues that customers might have and also the convenience store that you might be working in. One good point about these jobs is that these gas stations are there in every city and in really good numbers and most of them are open 24 across 7 so you can get good number of hours as well. Now, because these gas stations are open 24 cross 7, so they offer overnight jobs as well. The good part is that many of these jobs actually offer you more money, maybe two, three dollars more per hour if you work overnight. So you can really make good money if you work overnight as well. But yes, this can be a problem for some people who are not comfortable uh, working during the night times. Okay, the next type of jobs that I'm going to talk about are those jobs in the supermarkets maybe in the hardware stores, maybe in the electronic stores, maybe in the furniture stores. So you have multiple supermarkets here like Loblaws, Walmart, uh, Sobe's, Metro and so many other that I can't even list out. Then you might have other kind of stores like furniture stores, electronic stores, stationery stores or maybe home essentials stores, maybe like uh, Home Depot, Canadian Tire, Staples, Best Buy, Ashley, uh, Ikea, all of these stores are there and many other as well. The downside of these jobs is that they generally offer you a salary which is equivalent to the minimum wage. So as I've told you, $14.25 uh, per hour in Ontario. The good part is that the number of job vacancies in these jobs is probably the highest among all these five. If you take the example of Walmart, then there might be a two or three or four different Walmart stores in a particular city. So the number of uh, vacancies would be higher because they generally have uh, 30 to 50 people in each Walmart. So they would be probably close to uh, 150 or maybe 180 people just in Walmart. So think about all these different stores that we are talking about. So probably the number of vacancies is highest among all these five uh, different job types. Now, there can be different types of entry-level jobs as well. Maybe a cashier, maybe a customer service person, maybe a fulfillment associate, maybe a greeter, or maybe any other types of jobs. So you would get an opportunity to um, actually you know, maybe serve in different kinds of uh, fields as well. So that is another good point. And yes, as I told you, we don't require any kind of educational qualification or degree or diploma to work in any of these jobs. So it is really, really helpful for students as well. Right, coming over to our last category or last kind of jobs, which is the uh, jobs in the food outlets such as 
Tim Hortons, McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, uh, or any pizza outlets. So all of these outlets also have uh, these basic level jobs or the survival jobs as we say it. So basically many of these outlets actually offer uh, part-time jobs. So it is also very helpful for all those students uh, who are there who are looking for part-time jobs. Now again, the salary that they have to offer is generally equivalent to the minimum wage. And the job description might involve um, handling the payment counter and at the same time preparing the food, the coffee, all of that stuff as well. Now because of the pandemic, there are some extra job responsibilities that they have to sanitize the counter and the space in every 10-15 minutes. They have to wash their hands as well regularly because they are serving the food from their hands directly to the customers. So these are some additional responsibilities during this period and maybe that would continue in the next couple of years as well. And apart from these food outlets, you can also work in the restaurants, maybe as in the customer service, maybe in the billing counter, uh, maybe as a waiter, maybe as a helper, maybe as a cook. Uh, now again, cook might be a specialized job. And obviously if you move to a specialized job like a chef, then you would get more salary than uh, who's there at the billing counter. Alright guys, so thanks a lot. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope that this uh, video was informative and would help you settle in Canada and help you find a survival job. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would request you to click the subscribe button. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. And yes, if you have any feedback or any comment, please put it down in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching this video.